whenever I hear a wild claim on the internet or on a political podcast, you know, or something like that, I'm like, wait, is this really true? And, and, I, and it helps me, gives me a nice starting point to understand the problem. Whereas I can't sit there and like read an Atlantic article and parse that thing in my head. You know, it's just too, you know, like something too dense like that, you know, or I was asking, hey, what are the terms of services of tele TV? Because, you know, it's kind of onerous in there to give you a free 4K TV. And people keep asking these questions on our on our comments. And I was like, hey, is this really a thing in this? And it, it'll actually pick that part and look at the document, look at the TOS and 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 because TOS is not person readable <laughs> for one thing. So having something like that can say, oh yeah, this, this, and, this, and, and it probably means this, um, you know, is, is a giant helper. And man, are we, are we allowed to use the word democratize anymore around here? Remember that used to get thrown around with the internet back in the day? Um, maybe that does help out if people start learning how these, do, these tools uh, get used a little bit more. So responsibly, of course, which we'll see if that happens in the next couple of years, right? Rob, what is your awesome thing of the year? My awesome thing of the year is uh, Bamboo Labs. Okay. Have y'all talked about Bamboo Labs at all? This sounds familiar. Uh, they make 3D printers. Um, okay. I think Chachi picked up one of these, actually. Yeah. So I have I have a long history with 3D printers. I have been using 3D printers professionally since 2009, I think. Uh, so I started working with big, like, refrigerator-sized 3D printers, which were not even as bad as, as they had been in the past, but boy, golly, were they terrible. 